Patrick Lahey is frustrated. Frustrated that tens of billions of dollars are spent each year on space exploration while he struggles to find funding for a $15 million submersible to explore our planet's oceans. When you think about it, we're going all over the heavens looking for a planet with water, and the irony is we've never explored the water on our own planet. Lahi is president of Triton Subs, a company that specializes in building submersibles for the super rich. His team is currently working on two subs that will be able to dive 3,600 feet underwater. But, he says, his real ambition is to build a submersible that can safely carry three people ten times further down. Ninety-five percent of the seafloor has not been explored. What that tells me is there's a lot of things to be seen. The average depth of the ocean is over four miles, which means that if you want to explore the vast abyssal plains that are around the world, the only way to do it is going to be in a vehicle that's capable of diving to those sort of depths. That depth was reached by a manned crew once before, on January 23, 1960. Explorers Jacques Picard and Don Walsh took the Trieste, a deep-sea research vessel, to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. As pressure mounted, one of the vessel's plexiglass window panes began to crack, forcing the researchers to retreat to the surface after just 20 minutes on the seafloor. Charles Stromer, chief engineer at Triton, says the development of materials that can withstand massive amounts of pressure has come a long way since then. Not to throw stones at what was done back in 1960, but this time we're actually going to be able to see and explore what's down at the bottom of the ocean, not just to say that we made it down there and now we have to leave. Lahey and Stromer are designing the Triton 36,000 a deep-sea ocean submersible that they say will take three people six miles underwater. The design is based on the concept of a glass sphere. Lahi says glass actually gets stronger as pressure increases. They've been putting glass spheres down to the bottom of the ocean for over 40 years, but they're smaller glass spheres. The challenge has been to produce a sphere big enough. Stromer says to increase the sphere's integrity under pressure, it needs to be completely whole. Instead of passengers entering the sub through a hatch, two perfect hemispheres will close around the passengers to form the whole sphere. The controls of the systems outside the sphere, like the thrusters and the steering, will be done wirelessly. By not having any penetrations in the glass, we don't have the ability to have this electrical connection. So instead we'll use either an optical or a radio frequency control signal through the glass. Lahey and Stromer admit that outer space may seem to be a more exciting destination, but they're quick to point out that the Earth's oceans present a more realistic and practical goal for exploration. Arguably, solutions to our energy problems, to our food shortage problems, cures for degenerative diseases, these may all possibly be found in the deep ocean. Lahey has waited 30 years to make his dream come true. He doesn't plan to wait another 30 to prove that there is more to be gained by exploring beneath the ocean than above it. Ben Gruber, Reuters.